actually started until about eight days ago, nine days ago. George Pippis, who is in charge of sales for Ford, uh, he joins us live from Ford headquarters in Dearborn, Michigan. George, uh, you heard the question from Melissa. Uh, when you look at your monthly sales increase going up a couple of percent points, how much of that do you attribute to, to being cash for clunkers, uh, bringing in buyers? Well, we had a solid month underway, another market share increase, Phil, but uh, we felt like we were probably going to fall short of last year's sales levels. Um, retail, we thought we might have a chance. As you can see from our release, our retail sales were up 9%. I heard you make the point that uh, fleet sales were down, uh, and that kind of reduced the overall increase. But cash for clunkers put us over the top. Uh, lots of traffic and lots of sales at Ford and Lincoln Mercury stores uh, in that last week. So, George, can I just... George, the big question is whether or not this is sustainable. Is this a, a sugar high, a one-time, bring in the buyers, you're stealing from the future, or are we looking at something here where we see a churning of the market where consumers are really going to start coming back into showrooms? Well, I, I do think there's some latent demand, Phil. You know, you've reported uh, over the last several months that demand for new cars and trucks is well below just replacement demand. And so what we think happened is that people that were driving, uh, for example, Ford Explorers that they had purchased in the 90s, uh, took this opportunity, took out some insurance on higher fuel prices. And our estimate, Phil, is that in addition to the $4,500 that they might have saved on the new vehicle purchase, trading an Explorer for, let's say, a Focus or a Fusion, that the, that the annual gasoline savings to these consumers is in the $1,500 range on an annual basis. So this is not going to have only a first time, you know, a catalyst effect on the economy, but also it ought to be the gift that give, keeps on giving, not only in terms of lower fuel consumption, but lower emissions. Uh, frankly, I can't think of a program ever that has that has been so positive in so many ways uh, across the board, environment and the George. economy. Well, can I can I just?